Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are making a Android application which can detect object. So you can say object detection application using Android. So uh, if you are new in my YouTube channel, so please do subscribe my channel and must hit the bell icon. Cause in every week and daily basis, I upload videos regarding machine learning, data science, artificial intelligence, and so on. So you can see here, I uploaded more than 19 videos in my uh, whole playlist. Okay. So you can see your some videos regarding natural language processing and some videos regarding deep learning. Okay. So in this tutorial, we are going to make this application from scratch. Okay. So first thing first, uh, if you are new in my channel, so please do subscribe my channel and must hit the bell icon. Okay. So now let's jump on our uh, actual project. So first thing first, you need to go on your website. Okay, uh, I'm in my case is already open my browser. So you need to click on here to near tab and type here TensorFlow. Okay, TensorFlow object detection Android. Okay, make sure that your spelling should be correct. Okay. Click on here to object detection. So you can see here object detection. You can also read this block. Okay, you can see here how can it detect it. Uh, hopefully you already saw my demo video. Okay, you can read this uh, page. Okay, so I'm not going to uh, read that. So just click on here for view Android example. Just click on here. So it will open a uh, GitHub link. Okay, you can see here. So it is the official GitHub link of the TensorFlow Lite of the detection Android. Okay, so you're going to use this one. So you need to just uh, go here in the example. Okay, and you can see a code. You can also download it from here. Okay, download as a zip file or you can clone it. Okay, uh, okay. So I already cloned this repository. Okay, in my directory. Also, you can use git bash. Okay, I'm going to click here and type git bash. So opening this bash, you can uh, also uh, clone this whole repository. Okay, you can see here just you need to pass this one. Okay, and it will open. Okay, or you can also download this as a zip format. Okay, so I already, I already download it in my uh, D drive. Okay, and I'll also extract it. So after downloading this, you can find here the file like that. So example master, so you need to extract this file. After extracting this file, you, your files actually look like that, okay? Look like that. So uh, now you need to install Android Studio new local machines, okay? So you need to go and type Android Studio, okay? So you can see here the first link is appear here. Just you need to click on here and download the uh, Android Studio, okay? So I am going to use this one and I already installed this one. All the SDK and the, all the all the other next string I have uh, downloaded here. Okay, so you can see here this is the Android Studio. Okay, so I already downloaded here and also install it on my local machines. So I am going to open this one. Okay, so just click on here. You can see Android Studio. So I am going to open this. Okay, so you can see Android Studio is open on my um, local machines. So I am going to click on here. So create a new projects or you can say open and exiting project. So I'm, I'm going to open my uh, example master project. So that's why I'm going to click on here. Okay. You can also create new project. So I'm going to click here. And now I am going to go my D drive. Okay. And inside this D drive, uh, this folder. So inside this folder, you can see your example master. So inside this example master, there is a folder called light. And inside this, there is another folder called examples. And I'm going to go here in the object directions, okay? You can also use email segment directions, digit classifier, and the gases to classifications. So I'm going to click on here and choose the Android one. Open, okay? So make sure that you are connected to your internet because it will download some um, requirement, some files from the internet, okay? So it will uh, definitely take some time. Uh, in my case, it's already done. Hopefully it will uh, starting a new Gradle dev okay? It will, uh, it will try to build the Android applications, then it will configure that. After configuring that, uh, you don't need to do anything else because you know 
uh, the tensorflow developer and the google uh, google developer are already built these applications so now the question is why should i make this video because i'm going to make this video for uh, uh, for just uh, only for educational purpose okay so in your case it will take some time okay but in my case it's already done because i already do it uh, before that's why it don't take require any time here okay so you can see here uh, it will uh, it will uh, it will open you you, you can uh, check here in the app okay there is some file called manifest you can also go here okay uh, this is the manifest file okay you can also change the uh, change the xml file from here and inside the java file there is a file the and android manifest.xml file also and inside this java file you can see here build.config and inside this asset you can see here tf light model label map all the labels okay so you can see here all the labels it's, it's for maybe coco uh, there are more than 19 uh, more uh, five uh, 19 object name person bicycle car motorcycle okay and you can see a table.jpg file uh, this is just simple uh that's are using that okay so also the config file so you don't need to do anything else here it's already done by the google developer i mean tensorflow developer so we don't need to go or do anything else here okay so now we need to run uh, this code okay so i'm going to use my uh, mobile phone camera for the live detections okay you can also use your android emulator but some cases it crash your computer okay so make sure that if you are, you are using this android studio uh, your ram should be uh, up to 4 gb okay so in my case i'm using 8 gb ram and the uh, gpu using uh, nvidia geforce so now i'm going to connect my uh, uh, own mobile phone okay okay i'm going to connect my own mobile phone okay and i'm going to open my visor oh that's why you can see the screen of my mobile phone okay you can also use this okay view you can see here checking the visor epic installation so you can see here uh, it's connecting to my uh, files okay you can see here okay so i'm going to uh, close this and click on here to run this you can see here this uh, build uh, running is the building and this time it will uh, opening this uh, install these applications for my uh, mobile phone okay so it will definitely take some time to actually building this and it will give you some warning you can see here install uh, this library on my local uh, in my uh, mobile phone so, okay this is my mobile phone screen so you can see it opening these uh, uh, applications on my mobile phone so it will take some time to load that okay you can see here uh, it will load it you can see a tensorflow light and it will detect it, this one okay uh, some problem on that I'm going to retire it okay I'm going to cancel that and I'm uh, going to uh, pen this again okay okay you can see here something okay connect the visor okay you can see here it detected okay keyboard uh, this one TV it's called TV okay but it's and my another laptop keyboard okay also mine but you can see here it's called for me the person okay and this one so cool thing okay you can see it's a laptop okay this is my lighting keyboard <laughs> and this is my laptop keyboard okay this is a call okay so this is the video hope you will enjoy this okay it's, it's disconnected for some reasons okay so this is the video hope you will enjoy this video and make sure to subscribe my channel and must hit the bell icon for never miss an update